from Hagwanger Digital Designs, bringing you quick tips from Kimberly. Today, I want to cover something I think is really cool and a lot of fun, something called baseline letters. Baseline um, will allow you to create a line in Stitch Artist and then allow your letters to follow that same line in order to give you a really unique and cool look. Let's get started. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go into my create mode here and I'm going to grab this. This is my draw with points and I am going to create, let's say we're going to go to an amusement park. So let's say I am creating a roller coaster and there we have the shape of the roller coaster. I know that isn't anything super special, but we're just using this as an example. So I'm going to go into the objects panel here and I'm going to name this baseline and I'm going to give it a number. I am just for the sake of number one, I'll put the number one in there. You could put the number four in there, the number, whatever number you would like in there. So now I have baseline one. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go up here and grab my lettering tool. Going down into the properties, I'm going to write roller coaster. Okay, so there we have the word roller coaster, and here we have our line that we would like this word, this roller coaster, to go along this roller coaster line. So we're going to go back into our objects panel again, and I'm going to click in here in the letters, put a space in there, and then click the number one. The number has to match this number. If this number is four, this number has to be four, okay? And you can see here, it starts following this line. And the word, if I put roller coaster of love, it would go roller coaster and then of love. Let's try that. Let's get rid of this one and make that a little longer. Roller coaster of love. Okay, and then we're going to go back into here again, add a space, add the number one, click enter, roller coaster of love. So it's just going to follow right along the line. You can add more spaces in between things. It's a little harder to do after you've started, but here, let's just add some space to make it a little better of a fit. And you can see here that we now have our design that the words will follow whatever line you want. So you can draw whatever line you want. You can draw curves and shapes and all the different designs you'd like to and then have your words follow that line. You just need to remember to name the line, baseline, and then put a number after it. And then name your letters with that same number. And I hope that helps you learn a little more about the um, incredible things you can do in this program. And I would like to mention also that I do offer one-on-one -on -one Zoom lessons. I can teach you how to use your Brilliance Essentials, Enthusiast, Stitch Artist, Merrily. I can get you a good head start on learning all of these programs so that you can use them more and avoid frustration of trying to figure things out. If you are interested, please feel free to go ahead and email me at Kimberly at Thanks, and I hope you enjoyed this tip today. Have a great day.